morning welcome back to another vlog i honestly i took a couple days off well i edited all day on sunday so that that video from portland can be up by monday and i can't believe i turned that around so quickly i did pre-edit it always helps i pre-edited a little bit in the hotel but um i wanted to kind of judge up that video so i added some effects and did some cool things if you noticed and i that is when i get to get creative and have fun and i could not love making youtube videos and editing them myself more i couldn't i couldn't <laughs> i love it so much i am just getting ready for the day as you saw i wanted to do a little bit of the makeup that i got on the ipsy i think my protein powder is here perfect well i can't have that right now because i have to do therapy so i actually should go get that ready i can't do too long of an intro but i just wanted to explain that i was playing with some of the new makeup and um even some things that came with ipsy that i forgot i had like this misho beauty balm it's kind of like that concealer lip look it's just straight up chapstick but i really kind of like it my skin looks really Really nice actually I use the uh, moisturizer the LMS moisturizer and uh, the new concealer which I did use over the weekend and I did notice that because it is so silky and so creamy that on me it creases pretty bad if you don't set it with powder right away okay I have 10 minutes to get ready for my therapy session but I just wanted to welcome you to this new week and we've got a lot going on this week it's gonna be it's gonna be a week it's gonna be wildly crap another epic freaking breakthrough I almost feel like this could be an entire video on its own but I brought up derealization which is a type of dissociation Derealization is when your surroundings start to feel a little off or fake. I disassociate a lot. I, in stressful situations, when I am in public places, anywhere, when I'm in a restaurant, when I'm in a music venue, when I am going like to, I was using the tattoo convention as an example because that is one that I remember the most recently where I went to like a big, like a lot of people were there. It was like a big arena and there's people everywhere and there's a lot of sound because you can hear the, like the machines going. And so if you're somebody who is like anxious in crowds, then those sounds, if you're having a disassociative moment, moment are heightened and so when that's happening you're not you're since you're no longer present you are now starting to kind of like see the world from the outside and that is what I have done my entire life and that is why I have memory loss I have a lot of memory loss problems and I always have and I've had I've talked about it with friends even like in in grade school who had really good memories and don't have these things happen and they always were like you don't remember meeting this person you don't remember what this person looks like you don't remember any of this and i'm like no i now realize that that is just a flight response that is dis is a dissociative response i was under stress of some sort because i am in a very bustling public area and that for me is a time for me to check out and then when i'm checked out i'm not i'm not remembering anything breaking these things open and doing the work i'm so glad i'm in therapy i can't even it's answering so many questions about things that have haunted me my entire life. It's such a relief. I've never known that my memory loss is because I'm disassociating in the in the moment. Now we need to figure out why and that we don't know yet. So we don't know we have to go in there and do the therapy and do the EMDR to figure out why I'm triggered when I'm in public. And it explains why I feel safe at home. Oh my god. It's just, it's absolutely blowing my mind remember what i was talking about how you can get decent stuff second hand for working out this top is like a total like sweat wicking whatever type of workout top pants are a little wild they're gray and then they have this really bright detail on them I, I bought all the wild ones just because i don't have a lot that are unique and different and i usually just have black like i just get black yoga pants 
keep it pretty simple so i just went for the fun ones just to shake things up a little bit okay so this is what i got this time i'm trying a different one the last one i had was simple truth whey which is a whey i believe is like a milk i just want to try something that's not dairy just for my stomach to see if it's not because i do have like a little bit of a dairy intolerance so i gotta just limit my dairy this is proteins and greens no added sugar vanilla let's see we have spinach kale alfalfa grass and broccoli so that's good i'll be able to make quite a few smoothies with it and i think it was like 20 something bucks something like that let's try the new smoothie with the new protein powder and you guys know the drill I don't like showing myself sipping on a straw on camera so we're gonna go ahead and give myself the old fish eye mm. okay that's really good whatever that vanilla flavoring is and that protein powder the greens that's tasty but I just wanted to share that. So this is called plant-based vega protein and greens. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Not telling you that's what you should do. <laughs> I hope it's not bulking me up, but I know that protein for me will be good because I tend to not really eat too much in the beginning of the day. So I feel like if I get a smoothie in me, um, perhaps my anxiety will be a little bit less intense by afternoon time because my dumb ass will wake up and have two cups of coffee and nothing at noon and then be hungry and realize why i feel anxious and we are trying to find any type of anxiety trigger we can find and try to minimize those so that we can start to really narrow down the source of what triggers me if that makes sense so Eating, eating right, taking care of myself, nourishing my body is gonna be a big part of that as well. So if you are somebody who skips breakfast and only drinks coffee and you're an anxious person, stop doing that <laughs> because it's not helping. I'm learning this now. <laughs> Therapist orders, have breakfast, basically. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. came upstairs to get my camera and look who's wondering where the lady went oh my goodness welcome to the house poppy and lola look at her little strut oh my god so cute yes she is she's such a good girl and she's so friendly hello hello Good girls. I was about to actually go have some lunch. I've gotten so much done this morning already. I uh, spent the morning deep cleaning the house because whenever I have guest dogs come, I like to, it seems like it'd be weird and the opposite, but I like to mop and get all the carpets really clean, but mainly because I'm trying to get the dog smell out of everything so that they're not inclined to urinate in my house <laughs> but these girls i think are pretty house trained um and they're so cute i'm really particular now about the dogs that i take like they just have to be chill like not chill but they just have to get along because i can't worry the whole time about them not getting along <laughs> it just stresses me out my nerves can't take it let's just keep our fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly and that we're good but they're here for a while they're here for a week 
I get tattooed on Friday, so Lyle is actually gonna be coming home early so that he can take over dog sitting so that I can go get my stomach done. So that, that consultation I had, I can't believe it felt like months away. I mean, it was, but it just went by so fast that we went and had a um, meeting about the tattoo that I'm getting on my stomach. So I'm getting a Baku, which is that elephant that's supposed to ward off nightmares because I have that issue with, you know, <laughs> I've talked about it here before, but sleep paralysis. I even washed all the dog bowls. I lit a candle so it smells nice in here. I'm about to have a salad. Cleaned this whole area really well, deep clean the dog area. So when they leave, I'll go back through and mop again just because it's a lot of dogs. And I think we're actually supposed to get some rain, which <laughs> having these little mops here is definitely going to be interesting to see how we keep them clean and curly, whirly perms. <laughs> Right now they're just exploring the house and smells, but because they're girls, I don't have to worry about them walking around and lifting their legs on the corners of things, so that's good. and welcome to the next day. I think I fell off a little bit of filming yesterday but I was editing the I'm not having kids video and it was very time consuming to edit that. Oh my goodness my hair is so damp still. I have been sitting here doing my makeup. I actually had an entire phone call with the bride about her makeup that we're going to be doing coming up this summer and scheduled her in so that was really nice but my hair is still soaking wet well it's a little dry right here but like i can't believe how long it takes for this hair to dry <laughs> i obviously i was tanning and i wanted to talk to you guys about that really quick because this i've heard a few people now mentioning how they were looking and this is like influencers were looking for self tanners that were clean so i used this on my stomach just to be sure and because I know it's more lightweight this is also the fair to medium so this one is on my stomach and then I ran out of it halfway through so when that other one comes I'm going to do my legs my arms and we'll see how much it processes before I go putting it on my face I have the um I have the beauty by earth facial spray that I spray at night and so I'll just do that tonight and keep the other one away from my face and just do like my arms and my legs, my back with the one that's coming. And this one that's coming is also like supposed to be non-orange. It says violet, whatever that means. So we'll give that one a try. I need to go blow dry my hair before it gets too dry because that's never good. I mean, blow dry hair day as, as, as long as it takes which is annoying. I love the way it looks. I'm just trying to really extend the amount of time that I have to uh, redo it. I want to retone my hair and that requires taking it out and I just put them in. Well, I didn't just put them in, it's been, a, it's been over a month. So it'll require removing them gently so I don't damage my hair. Um, rewashing the extensions, retaping them when they have to be completely dry. So that's like a whole thing. Like just taking them out, washing the hair and retaping it is like a whole process. Toning my hair will be easy. That's just quick tone. I'm not even gonna bleach my roots. I'm just gonna literally tone my natural hair. I'm gonna assess how my hair is looking, give it like a day, and then I'll probably put the extensions back in shortly thereafter. But it's like, it's a whole situation. <laughs> I have to really have the time to want to do that. And I usually like remember to do stuff like that right before a trip or right before something is happening that I really want to look my best. And that's when I'll make my hair look fabulous. Mm. Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my kava tea. This is what I drink to do anything that's anxiety inducing, that stresses me out. I have this on my drives up to Seattle 
for work, long road trips, anything like that, I always start off with a kava. I don't even know if you're focused. I think you're focused on. You see it behind me? I'm I'm getting ready and I'm I'm actually not nervous about going to get tattooed today. I'm just um, anxious because I hate driving. <laughs> if this was like across the street, I would be stoked. I'm, I've been really looking forward to getting this tattoo. It's in a spot I've been wanting covered for a long time. It was my Christmas present from my husband. He actually just did a little bit of trade, which is always nice if you have something to offer that you can trade. So it's just a win-win a, a for everyone. What was that? Is there somebody in my ceiling? Do I have people in my walls? Speak now. Quit stealing my deli meat. <laughs> Anytime I watch those shows where it's like people in crawl spaces and stuff, they always like raid the fridge. Okay, let me just get some light up in here. All right, so much has happened, my goodness. Um, I have two events that got booked, three three events for makeup that got booked yesterday. So I really need to focus on my website and um, get that all cleaned up and like more professional looking and just make sure my Instagram also reflects that. I stopped doing a professional Instagram for the makeup that I offer just because it's just, I think it actually makes me look worse when I've only got like a couple hundred followers and it's like okay photos that I took while I was there and it's like the lighting's not that great and they're not professional photos. I just don't really, I feel like anybody that I know that like does it as a profession just shows it on their personal because it's like that is what I am. So you can look at their work on their personal page as well as like see a little bit about them and you get to know them a little bit. So I think I'm just going to do it that way. I feel like I model everything after whatever Full Metal Jackson is doing. <laughs> I'm just like whatever she's got going on, I take it, I don't copy her or anything, but I'm just saying I would like to kind of look at it the way that she does it where it's like a, a lot of her photos, most of her photos are work. She's a hairdresser. She's badass. I love her. But um, she's really nice. My husband is on his way home. He's going to take over watching the dog so I can go do this. I have to be there at 1 o'clock. I'm going to leave ample time in case there's any sort of like traffic or issue on the road. Sometimes I get a little overwhelmed if I'm feeling like things are nuts or there's bad weather. Whatever. I just want to be on time. I hate being late. It makes me more stressed out. So I'd rather leave with extra time and then have that time to sit in my car and take selfies. <laughs> like I'd rather go get coffee or stop at a gas station and grab a drink. I don't know. Anything but being late. I have my kava ready to go. It hasn't been pressed yet so it's just been sitting marinating in the fridge overnight and I'm going to press it so that it's going to be fresh. And then I got some like de-bloating and like gas medication. <laughs> Not that I feel like I'm going to be but there's nothing worse than getting tattooed and feeling bloated or like because I'm gonna have a smoothie and I just hope that like the smoothie reacts well with my stomach because when I'm nervous my stomach tends to go a little haywire so if I'm I'm not really nervous though but it's a private studio and I was thinking it would be pretty cool actually if I did a whole story about why I'm getting the Baku so it's gonna be a Wednesday one shot and I'm gonna save most of that information for that but I'm getting this tattoo because of um, sleep paralysis I have a lot of sleep paralysis well I don't have a lot I just have it a lot more than most people I would say I have it maybe two to three times a year which I think is a lot some people have it once in their entire lifetime and some people never do I have sleep paralysis and uh, it's scary and I want to talk about it in a video and then show the tattoo and just talk about the Baku and what it stands for and just kind of a little bit about it because it's cool. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting on my stomach. It's something I've been wanting to do ever since actually it was back when COVID first went down and um, first went down. <laughs> talk it like it was some sort of, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know anymore how to refer to it. But when it first happened and it was like lockdown and I was just feeling the 
energy of the world. Like I'm really sensitive to just energy going on in general in all places. I think that's just why I get overwhelmed in crowds is because I'm just really like feeling it. And so I felt that with lockdown. And so it was giving me really terrible out of like my body sleep paralysis uh, dreams that were really terrifying. And they're not always scary, but they often are because I'm stuck out like I'm, par I'm paralyzed, so it's scary. <laughs> that part's scary. The actual dream part doesn't always scare me. But anyway, that's the, the gist of it, but I wanna do an entire video on it. I think it's really interesting. And I will show you what I'm wearing because it's just basically all black so that it doesn't get pigment all over it. Um, something two-piece so that I can pull the pants down a little and the top up a little and he's gonna do the outline for my stomach. This is just the first session. We have a couple of sessions coming so I have to prepare myself for this one which is the hardest. It's always the outline isn't it? If anybody has been tattooed multiple times you know that the outline is the worst. Oh I shaved my stomach. <laughs> I didn't need to. I was shaving it and looking to see if I had stomach hair and I don't. <laughs> it's like, you never know. I, t I do take biotin, like hair growth gummies, and they tend to make hair grow everywhere. So I was like, I wonder if I have stomach hair. <laughs> just shaved it. <laughs> but I'm, I'm good. There's nothing there. It's just all, all empty and ready for a tap tap. Makeup done. I was just going for natural, like myself, but better. <laughs> It's the request a lot of brides have had lately, and so I've just been, when I'm doing my makeup, just playing with different things, formulas, techniques, you know, and just really getting it dialed in so that when I go do, like, the busy wedding season that's coming up that I have it kind of, like, ingrained into my head. I'm gonna go pack. All right, this is the outfit for getting tattooed on your stomach. <laughs> Comfortable socks, slip-ons because I'm gonna kick them off, and we're gonna get tattooed. I have my kava. I packed a lunch because it's 11. Well, I've been up since eight, and all I've had is a smoothie. I brought what else? I have taken my beta blocker. I have my necklace. Jesus Christ! Some people. Some people. Like you were so speeding. That's so dangerous. But I'm gonna get on the highway, stop talking to this camera, listen to my podcast, and just try to, you know, mentally get myself in a good place. next day and I pretty much slept like I was in a coma. <laughs> I was so knocked out. I was actually, you know what? I didn't sleep very good even though towards the end there I felt like I slept really hard but I was tossing and turning because I had my stomach wrapped the old school way because I still like take care of my tattoos the old school way. You guys are going to want to see the tattoo. Why am I going to sit here and talk? And there she is. It's very hard to show it without <laughs> having a slip. It goes all the way up on my boobs. And when we first talked about it, he was like, we can shrink it or we can go up your sternum. And I was like, let's go big. Because I really wanted, I wanted a front suit, like, or like I wanted a front piece. So I want the whole front filled in everywhere. And this, I figure, is just a way to get it done sooner than later. This is really muffining my muffins, and I, I don't care. I, I, I honestly feel like I've got like a belly dancer's body right now. I took a lesson or two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's definitely showing off my curves. Yeah, I have, I have a whole new tattoo piece on me. It's huge. And it was about three hours 
he tagged me on Instagram and said, thanks for sitting like a rock. So yeah, he, he mentioned a few times how still and quiet I was about just the process. I don't really audibly say a lot and I just, because it, I feel like if once I say it, if I say it, then it makes it almost worse for me. And then that way when he was ready to like take a really big long <laughs> rip along the ribs or the sternum lines, that's when I would kind of just let out my breath part way and then just hold it for a second. And I would almost lean into it, not physically, but just mentally. I don't know, there's a way to get through it with breathing. And then I think the kava really, really helped me. I, th I think that's probably some of the strongest kava that I've made and it really helped big time. And I, I feel like other than like when it got kind of in this rib area on the sides here and definitely like up this area, which I already have down. So it's almost connecting at this point. I just have that little bit. That area is spicy. I was saying it's spicy. That was where it really does. It hurts, but you can, like I said, just kind of breathe into it and it doesn't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it's a way for me to kind of just go into like Zen mode and just, do it just get through it it's looking so good we kind of talked a little bit about what color it's going to be now and uh we're gonna talk we're gonna do some flowers on the sides as well it looks great and i love it so much so my husband got this and this is a spray aquaphor so it's like a really nice even layer so I just sprayed it across because you don't want to get too much of the ointment like piled up on it. You just want a light layer of it. So if you can get the spray ointment, I really liked this. Uh, so that's what's on it right now. Then I'm just letting it kind of chill. And then tonight when I go to sleep, I will wrap it one more night just because I really don't like it when it dries in the middle of the night and then sticks to your sheets. And then you try to get up and like peel it away. <laughs> and it like peels part of the tat. It just eh, can't do it. But I can already tell that this is gonna heal really clean. This is the indulgent deliciousness that I needed after a day of getting tattooed and eating like a bird. <laughs> this makes up for it, big time. Thank you so much for joining me this week in a lovely tattoo adventure. It was a lot of fun. It has awoken the beast inside of me. I'm ready to get my back piece done now. That was not that bad. I think in my head I was like, I don't think I'll ever get around to it because I just don't want to deal with it. It's so painful. And now I'm like, oh, I can, I can handle it. It's not that bad. I mean, it's bad in spots, but mostly not that bad. The whole doing it is fun. And uh, like afterwards you feel like a warrior. Like you feel like so, you feel tough. And I think it's something I needed to feel right now, especially after just like so much going on with like sobriety, agoraphobia, anxiety. You need something to just like test you and just see like just how tough you are. And I feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> so yay, me, <laughs> I needed that. I needed that little bit of a like boost, you know? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.